Hello, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm ready to go. I'm excited. And I've got another fantastic video for you. I'm just making my way back into making videos again because the last month or so has been very hectic for me. And also, I'm trying different scenery as well, trying different areas as well in my room. Obviously, this is my room. This is the first time I'm recording videos in my room. Most times, I record videos in my room during the day for my while on Wednesdays. But this time I've decided to do it for my weekend videos and then test it out as well. So definitely stay tuned, keep watching and I've got something nice and quick for you as well. Today I'm going to be talking about discipline because someone actually gave me a video on discipline and they said to me that I live a very disciplined lifestyle. I'm very disciplined so I sat down with myself and I thought oh do I actually live a disciplined lifestyle because these are just some things I do on a regular basis that I never thought anything of but obviously people are always watching people are always seeing so I decided to write it down to help me out as well so in terms of the discipline and I thought we hear a video on discipline the importance of discipline and also it says a question that they asked me says why am I disciplined and how did I become disciplined so I'm gonna look into that because I don't know am I disciplined People that know me, people that watch my videos, would you say I'm disciplined? How do you become disciplined? How did I become disciplined? I don't even have a clue. I don't know. So I'm going to check it as well. I'm going to use Google as well to help me out as well. I'm also learning while I'm making these videos because like I said, a lot of the videos I do is based on curiosity. I'm very curious. I want to find out why things are happening. How are they happening? What makes it happen the way it is? Just because that I have an idea to that I become aware. So definitely I'm going to use it. First question I'm going to ask is what is discipline? Because a lot of people would think discipline is just sticking to routines and doing the same thing over and over again. But I actually don't know the definition of what discipline is. Let me find out. Let me get my phone and find out. Okay. I've just gone on Google on here to find out what discipline is. It says the practice of training people to obey rules or code of behavior using punishment no that's not really the one when you come to google and you type for, de for definition of something obviously it gives you so many definitions but obviously you just choose the one that is closest to what you're looking for so definitely not that one let me look for one that says what is discipline in our life so it says discipline is the way of being honest hard working motivated and encouraged throughout the life this character is very important in one's life as it maintains behavior saints and monks will meditate also first practice the art of discipline a person who is well disciplined is on track and has orderliness in life okay this definition is probably closest to what i'm looking for and obviously what he's trying to say is when you're disciplined it shapes the way you behave it shapes the way you do things looking at saints and monks they have a very high level of discipline because obviously they do the same thing over and over again every day and also they have a way that they live their life they do the basic things every single day so discipline is very important and for me obviously maybe, maybe people maybe the reason why people think i have discipline in my life is because i do the same thing over and over again and I do it every time, even when I'm not motivated to do them, I still manage to find my way. So I'll give you one example, which I think I've already shared already. People that are around me know I wake up most days, the last few months or so, or the last since the COVID has happened, it's been quite tricky for me. But pre COVID, I used to wake up every morning, four o'clock. How did I even start that actually? I think how I started that was when I first went to university so throughout my life I've been playing a lot of sports I normally play football most of my life and obviously I've always been an active person even when it comes to sports when it comes to doing things I've always been very very active and before I even went to university if you look at my previous images which I might share or a lot of people can look at my images back um, I was very very skinny I'm still quite skinny anyway but I'm more lean now but I was very very skinny but I was always lean lean is when you have muscles showing on your body but it was skinny muscles to be honest with you but throughout that time I was very agile I'm still very agile and I was playing football quite a lot then when I now went to university obviously people were still saying I was skinny but still I was still playing football like so but 
back in my first years of university I was unable to afford the gym but one thing I always did was because I always kept an active lifestyle I always went for things such as jogging things such as doing press-ups at home sit-ups at home these things were my regular routine and obviously over time as I was able to afford and go to the gym that's when obviously gym became more part of my lifestyle but one of the key reasons why I actually had to get involved in the gym was because during my second year of university I had an injury and from that I wasn't able to play sports anymore and obviously I had to retrain my my legs after having surgery to get the muscles back to where it was and since then I got into the gym idea and as a person that studies sports coaching and PE as well I understand things such as nutrition and the way your body works especially the way my body works as well and also what also helped me as well was during my second year of university I was working at a food place in my university and whilst working there obviously that meant in terms of food wise I was also covered because when I went to the gym I didn't need to worry too much about food especially lunch because I ate mostly at work especially when they're giving a lot of food away I normally eat that as well so that really helped me as well and then since then I got into that routine also as well one of the reasons why I actually got the routine as well was because I'm a very early morning person I'm a person that likes to get things done quick as quick as possible so that I don't have to worry about it so I started to think to myself wait with a lot of things I want to do with a lot of things I want to achieve obviously I'm not gonna have all the time in the world to do that especially during the day because I'm very busy so what I did was I designed a routine for myself which the routine involves a rigorous routine where I wake up very early in the morning do my exercise and once I've done I've got the whole day to do work to meet friends to do whatever I have to do but it just that discipline to sleep early to wake up early get the exercise done because if I don't do the exercise that early in the morning I won't feel as motivated for me that's a routine that I've got into so maybe some people might say that's a self-discipline as well because obviously to sleep early I sleep by 10 o'clock and I wake up by 4 and I do that for most days of the week it is tough because I can't lie to you I can't say it's easy but like I said the last couple months especially after the Covid I've really struggled and but slowly slowly I mean, sometimes you have to push yourself and I think that's where discipline comes in knowing that obviously you're not motivated to do it but you still get it done so second part why is discipline important let me actually look already I think one of the reasons why discipline is important from reading that definition is that it gives you orderliness in your life so obviously I'm a person now I've just recently discovered not like I didn't know already I knew already but it's just now clear to me that I'm a person that like a lot of routines and I like to write things down if I don't I'm gonna forget a lot of things so what I do is I write things down and I like routine this is what I'm doing this is not what I'm doing and I already know how I can program myself so already that's for me that's one thing but let me look again why discipline is important okay this is giving me another definition for discipline and I think this definition encompasses what I was, I'm, I've been trying to say it says self-discipline is the ability to push forward stay motivated and take action regardless of how you're feeling physically or emotionally you are showing it when you intentionally choose to pursue something better for yourself and you do it in spite of factors such as distractions hard work or unfavorable odds so like I said sometimes you might not want to do those things but you still get it done and that's what discipline is pushing yourself staying motivated despite so many distractions around you but you, you focus you straighten yourself have you seen when the time is six o'clock when it's time is six o'clock the long hand and the short hand is straight that's how disciplined you should be you don't look left you don't look right you just look straight and you get it done back to what I was saying I was saying about why is discipline important so one of them helps you to achieve your goals like I said someone like myself I've got such big goals big dreams and big ambitions that I want to do things and sometimes I feel like I don't have enough time during the day but to give myself that enough time that's why I wake up very early in the morning because by the time I wake up early in the morning I get the gym done I know that I don't have to worry for the rest of the day 
I've got a lot of time doing my hands to get things such as the YouTube videos, to edit my videos, to work on myself, to read, to do so many things. Obviously as I'm getting older as well, I'm not able to play football as much as I used to do. I need something to still keep me active, to still keep my mind and body strong as well. And when it comes to the gym, you don't have to go to the gym because the gym is not for everybody. But you can do exercises, you can go around the park, you can jog, you can do something. Just do something with your time. Make use of your time actually because I really believe in that. Improve your mental health and benefit your physical health. So like I said, you get into healthy habits. Someone like myself, I get into exercising or I could use the time to do other things but also it resists unhealthy parts normally when I start exercising and training and doing all those things I stay away from eating unhealthy food as much as possible obviously once in a while I do because your body need it but most times I try not to because someone like myself I really like anything sweet such as chocolate such as biscuits such as those things trust me my body really wants to eat them but once I try training and exercising I try and eat as healthy as possible but that doesn't mean once in a while those food are not good for you because your body do, does need those kind of food as well once in a while just because your body needs something different so on here it says it makes you more resilient and one of the reasons why it probably makes you more resilient is because you're avoiding distractions and you're not worried about oh whether you have setbacks or anything you keep going and I think definitely discipline could help you do that that's just it on discipline it makes you resilient and also it makes you stay focused and it keeps you going so those things are the benefits of obviously discipline for me how do I become self-disciplined I don't really know to be honest with you I don't really know how I became self-disciplined reflecting back these are some of the things that's probably helped me to become self-disciplined did I get it from somewhere do I Naturally, I'm a motivated person, I'm a person that likes to achieve things, so I always set myself a target. In order to become more self-disciplined, you set yourself a goal. I'm a person that likes to set myself challenges. These are some of the things I want to achieve. This is how I'm going to get it. I'm going to stay focused on it. And it could be something simple, simple too, that like maybe you want to exercise 10 minutes a day, set your alarm. Also, I've also started something as well where every morning or every day I try and meditate for five minutes. I type on YouTube five minute meditation. I sit there. That helps my mind. That helps my mental ability. That it releases stress from my mind because I know that for that five minutes I'm going to give up everything. I'm not going to look at my phone. I'm not going to receive any message. I'm just going to sit there quietly and those things as well. That's just an easy goal that you could do. Definitely that will help me as well. Another thing as well, find your motivation. You gotta find a reason why you do things. I know why I'm doing a lot of things. Not because I want to show off because oh, I want to achieve this. No, because I feel I can do better with myself and I can become better. I can become a better person. And those are my driving forces why I push a lot of the things I do. Because I know I was born to be better and I was born to be great. And that's just my belief. So for that reason, anything that will make me become great, anything that will allow me to achieve my goals, is what I always strive and push for. So that's a definitely a reason. So sometimes if I want to give up, I look at people that are not doing as great as me and I think, nah, I can become better. Or I look at people that are better than me and I say, look, those are the kind of levels I need to get to. Because trust me, those people that are doing better than me or at the top, trust me, I'm sure they find it hard to get to where they are. So if I'm going to get to where they are, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of discipline. It's going to take a lot of things that I don't want to do but I just feel like I have to get it done so for that reason these are the kind of things that is in my mind that is my motivation I did one video where I put that that video is titled don't lose yourself I'm gonna put that video link in the description and that was just talking about um, a, a person I went to school with and due to obviously life stresses or things that happen in life he's put on a lot of weight when I wake up my body doesn't want to exercise my alarm goes off but I look and I think, I said, listen, if you don't do those things, that could easily happen to you too. Because trust me, we're all human beings and easily life can get to you. So when I wake up and I don't want to go, my body reminds me, do you want to be like that? Is that what you want to do? I said, nah, I get up, I put my clothes on and I jog. Even if it means I have to walk there for 30 minutes to the gym, I don't mind. The main thing is getting there. And once I'm there, I push through. And another one as well identify obstacles 
identify obstacles so know that look these are some of the distractions and how you're going to push through and it's just those things as well that helps you to stay disciplined these are just some things as well that will help you to stay disciplined like i said this video is about discipline like i said people ask me how did i become disciplined i don't really know that's why i'm curious about it i've just learned too today that obviously these are some of the things you push through and and i'm sure people too can have a disciplined lifestyle like i said a lot of the time when i make these videos is about not just making the videos for you guys it's about learning about myself i'm learning about myself so like i said i've just learned as well that i'm a person with routine once i have a routine i get things done and i like to put things in order but like i said i hope if you're watching this video i hope he helps you i hope he helps you stay disciplined i hope you've learned something as well about discipline as well and this is the video and keep watching some more videos i've got some more videos coming for you keep watching here's your boy mr cv have a nice day and take care